Hey, in this short tutorial I'm quickly going to go over how to use 3 di Studio for game development, um, for example in Unreal Engine or Unity. Um, I went ahead and generated an image of a stone golem inside of the AI Image Studio. Um, my prompt was something like stone golem 3D model pixel style, um, and I used the pixel art sigma model. Um, with the style set to 3D model, you could also use the stable diffusion model, just simply play around with it a bit. Um, there's like a lot you can do. So um, let's generate and see what it does. And after a few seconds, the model gets generated and should show up in the 3D viewer. Um, and as you can see, that uh, 3D model is not bad. Um, it generated the whole full body um, model, um, but as you can see, the texture quality isn't great. So we're going to hit refine, which refines the model and improves texture quality. Um, this is usually takes about three to four minutes, um, and it will take us to our homepage. Um, and I'll just skip that part, and I'll see you when it's done. And as you can see, the model has been refined. Um, if we click on the little eye icon, we can actually display a few the 3D model. And uh, the texture quality actually well, now is a bit better, but uh, we will increase the uh, quality further with the texture eye in a second. But first, let's hit remesh and remesh it as FBX and uh, hit remesh. Um, this usually takes about, let's say, 10, five to 10 seconds. And in the meantime, I'll quickly wanted to show you this cool feature. Um, which you could use for basically anything. In my case, I would use it for a game icon or a weapon icon. Um, I just used the pixel art sigma and choose a pixel art style, and this gave me some cool options. In my case, I like this one a lot, so I'm gonna hit save. Um, it now pops up here. Um, so now the remesh should be finished. We can see it here, we can download it. Done. Um, so now I'm gonna hit over to Mixamo and use the FBX we just um, generated to rig the character. And once that is done, um, you select basically the bones you want. In my case, um, I'll show you in a bit. Um, oops. We'll do, for example, chin up here, wrist here. It's optimized for human models, but you can also use it for models like this. I went ahead and uploaded it already. So let's search for an idle animation, um, which fits best, maybe some Preving, just a super simple one. Character arm space will increase that a bit. And now, as you can see, we have a super simple animation. Nothing crazy. Let's download it with skin. We're and once that has been downloaded, we can go ahead and blender. Open the FBX file. Let's check here. Preving idle. That's it. And this is how it looks. So um, you can hit play down here, and as you can see, it's an idle animation, the one we downloaded for Mixamo. It's not bad, you can also choose the uh, the bones. You can put them in the middle, you put it in front, and adjust them to your liking. Go into pose mode, adjust the poses. Um, basically, you're free to do whatever you want. Um, but let's increase the texture quality a bit, because that's uh, where it's lacking like, quality, in my opinion. So let's go back into the 3 i Studio, download the refined version of the model, go into the texture eye. This is an alpha version of the tool, but it's, in my opinion, um, super powerful, and I would suggest everyone to use it. Um, so let's go ahead and use this, this perspective here. Let's increase the brush size, change the prompt. We want it to be, uh, to be Stone Golem. Let's increase the creativity a bit and hit Generate. Let's unpin the source texture. You can also brush with paint over the model to kind of, for example, we want to have specific eyes, specific parts of the body different, um, then we can do that. But let's just do that now. Let's hit generate. And as you can see, that generated a new texture. In my case, I don't really like it, so I'm gonna adjust the prompt a bit. Let's remove the pixel character and just have it at stone golem. Let's generate again. That's way better in my opinion. So let's go ahead and paint this onto the model. Okay, so now we painted the front, so we can go ahead and paint the legs as well. Let's adjust the prompt a bit, leg, um, hit generate. And I like that as well, so let's go ahead and paint this over the 3D model as well. And we can go ahead and do that basically for the whole model. In my case, I'll just keep it like that. And I'll hit export, which then exports the GLB um, onto my device. We can open that in basically every software we want in Blender, Unity, Unreal Engine. Um, I would suggest 
this is pretty large. And that's because the texture of the original model gets upscaled by 2x uh, once we drag and drop it in here. So I would suggest um, compressing the PNG which is inside of this GLB um, to a smaller size. You can I can actually quickly go over how to do that. Um, simply, let's delete all of this. You can simply import it here. Import GLB, downloads, scene. And as you can see, that has the new texture applied. You can go into shading, base color, save as, uh, save as PNG. And then you can go to a site like compress PNG and drag and drop your files there, which reduces the file size a lot. Um, yeah, other than that, you also have text to speech tools and text to sound. This is super cool, like our golem roaring, I don't know. Um, let's say three seconds, generate sounds. And let's just, just for fun, let's see what that gives us. And once that is done, let's quickly hear what it generated. And that's something you could use in a game, animation, whatever you prefer. It also gets saved to your home folder and you can download it. Um, same for text-to-speech. Um, yeah. I hope this was helpful and uh, if you have any more questions, um, leave them in the comments. Check out 3DI Studio, it's a pretty cool tool. And yeah, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you soon.